Hey Alana, it's Saturday. I just watched your video and actually I just finished writing up a budget sheet for my personal economics class or personal finance class. And one of the articles that I found on like our Canvas page was Millennials are screwed. And I started to read the article and I started to get kind of depressed. <laughs> Everything that you said in your video just has been going on in my brain a lot recently and one of the things they mentioned in the article is about how sometimes when you know the recession hit people couldn't get jobs that were good for what they were qualified for and so what ended up happening is like they just got not so great jobs and then they weren't hired for better jobs later because they didn't have good experience and so they just basically ended up hiring the class after them after the recession which was really scary um and just makes me think like how can we not have all these jobs like where are they going you know i don't understand the economy god knows i do not but what makes a job happen and I don't know how it all works and I wish I did. But so my personal finance class started with my professor asking us who wants to be rich? And I didn't raise my hand because I'm not a freaking Wall Street banker wannabe business student who only cares about money. So I just looked at the people around me and a good two thirds of the class were raising their hands. And the professor goes, good, now what does being rich mean? And I thought that was an interesting question because, yeah, it's like have a lot of money, but how much is a lot? And some person described it as, you know, just being able to afford whatever they wanted to afford without worrying about how much it would cost, um, which is kind of more a psychological thing. And another person just said seven figures. And the professor was like, okay, what does that even mean? He's like, seven figures, like a million dollars. The professor was like, okay, like your income? And he's like, yeah. I was like, okay, then you'd be in like the 0.01% of Americans uh, if you had a million dollar income annual. But his main point was, you know, being rich is means different things to a lot of people and he kind of stated like you know his meager job as like a univers university professor it pays well but not too well and he's like I have a great life because things that give my life purpose are my family my dogs he really loves his dogs he has a house like not a great house but a house that he can like come home to and I know like it's so stressful to not be able to afford things, especially things that like our parents have had. And I feel like there's only one way to like stay sane and stay positive throughout all of this, which I think we need to do, like positive in terms of like, you know, just wanting to live. <laughs> and that's like having a larger purpose in life, which is something I'm really passionate about like helping people find what gives them purpose because that's going to fuel them even if they don't have food or water or uh, like a, a good shelter. So yeah, that's why like we kind of talked about leadership together, like all the practices I did in there because purpose can get you through a lot. And it's just crazy because I know we have all these resources in America, especially and they're just being hogged up by people who are very greedy. So, it's a lot to digest. But, just want to say I love you. And I'm here for you if you need anything. I mean, less so now because I'm at school now. But, if you need like a pep talk, I'm always here. Okay, that's all. Bye.